ba 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 do bop she down do ba 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 do bop she down do ba 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 do bop she down do ba 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 do bop she down god is good all the time all the time god is good Good morning, St. John's. Welcome to worship today on this Wednesday morning. I think it's Wednesday. Yeah. Anyway, I want to ask you some questions. And here they are. Can you describe to me what a banana is like? What is your best friend like? Can you describe for me what Marmite is like? Can you describe to me what God is like? Can you describe to me what God's kingdom is like? Hmm. Well, these might be really easy questions to you, but equally, they might be really hard ones as well. How do you know what a banana is like? Here's a clue. It's a candle, by the way. How do you know what your best friend is like? Well, we know the answers to these questions because we have experiences of them. Most of us have seen a banana and probably eaten a banana. So we can say what it's like to someone who doesn't know. We have chosen our best friends because there are things about them that we like, which is why they are our best friends in the first place. And so it's easy to say what they are like. For Christians, it is easy to say what God is like because Christians read the Bible, they pray, they have an experience of God which is which is special and so they can say what God is like. But, 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 what about God's kingdom? None of us have been there. So how can we know what it is like? Well, the good news is, and it is good news, I promise, is that Jesus has been there. And when we look at the story of Jesus in the Bible, we see that Jesus tells his friends again and again what God's kingdom is like. Jesus would often say, the kingdom of heaven is like. Do you know any examples that Jesus gives when he says this phrase, the kingdom of heaven is like. Do you know any? Have a think if you do. Well, Jesus gives lots of examples of what the kingdom of heaven is like. And he should know because, well, he's been there. So he can tell us what it's like. So Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like these things. He says the kingdom of heaven is like a tiny seed. It's like a a treasure hidden in a field. It's like a precious pearl. It's like a fishing net. The kingdom of heaven, Jesus says, is like a generous landlord or a farmer who threw seed onto the ground. And just to give you an idea, here is a story of just one of these examples. Once there was a man named Jesus who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. As they followed, he told them about a kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. But they did not understand. So one day, they simply had to ask him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And he said, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a person took and sowed into a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew. When it has grown, the mustard is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make their nest there in its branches. Now, I love talking about the kingdom of heaven because it is a place where God rules. And whenever we pray the Lord's Prayer, 
we are asking that God would rule on earth just like God rules in heaven. And he and God rules with love and joy and peace and with justice. But my favourite part of the kingdom of heaven is that Jesus said it belongs to people just like you. And I'm talking about the children. He said that to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you have to be like a child. Now, what is a child like? Now, you can tell me because you are a child. Now, Christians love to hear about the kingdom of heaven because it gives us an idea of what heaven is like. And Jesus wants us to understand it is a place that we all want to be and to serve and love God. But here is the amazing part about the kingdom of heaven is that we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait for it because Christians believe that because Jesus has shown us how to love one another, we can get on with living in the kingdom of heaven right now. What it means is that by loving one another, we are living our lives like they do in heaven. So when we are patient with one another, we are living our lives like they do in heaven. When we are waiting patiently and kindly at the school gate to be let in, we are living our lives like they do in heaven. Now, can you think of other examples for you to try out today? My friend Andrew last week saw somebody had broken down and the RAC man was trying to fix the car. It was raining, so Andrew went and bought three coffees for the two people in the car and for the uh, mechanic. He didn't have to do that. He didn't know who they were. That was such a beautiful kingdom thing to do. Andrew was living like they do in heaven, like in the kingdom of heaven. He was demonstrating love and compassion, just like God wants us to. So what examples can you come up with today to try out, like living your life like they do in heaven? Have a think today and give it a go. Well, to finish, I think what would be appropriate um, to pray, and you're invited to pray this with me, is to pray the prayer that Jesus taught his friends, that, and that prayer that we call the Lord's Prayer. So the words will appear on the screen. So if you'd like to, let us pray. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So go and try living like people, in, uh, like they do in heaven, with love, with joy, with peace and with justice. Have a good day. Take care. And I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Be bold. Be strong. For the Lord your God is with you.